My god, the followers from yesterday just fell into the jar. That's kind of awesome. Aww. Two little skulls in there. Nice. That's so cute. I, that's 358. I should not do that. <laughs> we'll be here a while if we do. Whoa. Well, I say that knowing full well that, like, you know, it, it's worth watching the cutscenes at least once just because, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I got nothing, honestly. Got nothing. I'm, I'm tapped. Today was an alright day at work, though. I mean, we were busy for a lot of it, but, you know, I got to move around at least. Well, that's good. Yeah. Man, he purrs loud. <laughs> and objects. <laughs> yep, that's my cat. It's okay. I think he knows you had a rough day. Yep. <laughs> he definitely knows. <laughs> he kind of, the way he's swaddled right now, he kind of reminds me of Nameless King. Oh my god! <laughs> That's kind of amazing, because, like, I'm just picturing him, but with... Or, I'm picturing Nameless King, but with Lawrence's head on him. <laughs> it's just the way the fabric comes up around his neck. Oh, man. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Are you about to message me this? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, it really does look like the Nameless King. <laughs> it's like a turtle. It's amazing. I, I got nothing beyond that. You hear that, Lawrence? You get to watch over and roll over Arch Dragon Pete. How do you feel about that? Kinda hungry, boss. You know cats. Sometimes they'll just they'll try to get more food out of people if they if the people they're trying to coax out or get food out of don't know they've been fed already. Yeah. Like that one post about you know they had that uh, whole spreadsheet of has the cat been fed. Ah, uh, good stuff. I heard that! He is so oh. vocal. Bless you. I love it. Yeah, he's, he's a very vocal cat. Yeah, that's fair, though. No, you're not done yet. Freeze. You're not done with kitty timeout. That is a terrifying image. Oh well. Woo! Oh, I'm in a bad way. There we go. That's better. Man, there are a lot of white knights here. Ah. Alright, Goofy, go to it. I love the kitty jail as a thing, honestly. Ooh, I'm gonna start this. That's a new rune card. Jail light. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Still, it, it's just very silly how often he gets swaddled. I don't know what else to do half the time. 
hey, it's a gentle way to go about it, and it seems to do the trick overall. Yeah. But, I mean, today was the first day he was allowed out in the, like, the whole apartment by himself while I was gone. How'd that go? Um, well, only one couch cushion was knocked over. Nice. Um, no potty accidents, and, uh, he moved my shoes around, but that's about it. All right. He's still purring. I just love the fact that you can't see his mouth at all in that picture you sent. <laughs> He's a silly cat. <laughs> but I think, honestly, that's what you needed. As any cat probably would. But, I mean, you had your heart set on the flame point, I know. Or an orange boy. I'm just glad it worked out. Also, I'm topped off on hydrocodine, so if I start acting weird, I can that's that Bowling certificate? Baby pictures? Blue poncho? Where's all my stuff? Where's my stash? This is freaking me out. No, no. Worry not, viewers. This is completely prescribed. Having dental issues. Yeah. Did you know that uh, Machinima's videos were taken down after they were uh, bought by Otter Media? I have no idea. So a lot of Machinima videos are just gone now. Well, I mean, the entire channel is blank, but like a lot of them weren't backed up elsewhere. Ugh. Fortunately, Ross Scott backed all of his up on his channel. Well, yeah, that's pretty nice. Which means we get more Freeman's Mind. I think he's actually working on Freeman's Mind 2 right now. Oh man, I'm, wow, it's been forever. Well, I think he's going through Half-Life 2 with it. He makes sense. Yeah, freeze. Then again, I just, I mean, I always love, like, monkey on a stick! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! I think I got bad nachos. Pro tip. Pro tip, viewers. If you have a yeah. tooth pain, you can't get to the dentist right away. And the salt is your friend. Yes, yes it is. And the salt. Not Orja, and the salt. What the? May I have an aura fix? Not without a note, no, no. I know. <laughs> oh, man. So the unfortunate trade off to me going with so many card point things. Oh, damn it, the fountain is after me! No! <laughs> Even the fountain's after you. <laughs> oh, man. The unfortunate yeah. thing is, like, I don't have a whole lot of health to work with. But, I mean, I can manage. Yeah. Alright, Dolan, yeah. let's see how you screw up this time. Well, I'll be. You didn't. I still have no hope for him, but... <laughs> You know, it's it's some it's a step in the right direction. Ooh. Also, people that complain about cleaning out kitty litter boxes, yeah, probably not that bad. Eh, it depends on how long you let it go for, I guess. I only let it go for a couple days. That's fair. Yeah. Because otherwise. Especially with long-haired kitties, they are more likely to get stuff stuck in them. Yeah. As we have, as we have both seen. Also, I had to explain yeet to a co-worker as an aside. Like, they weren't entirely sure, so I'm like, Okay, so you know how, uh... You know how Uncle Phil would throw Jazz out the window in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Yeah, that's basically Yeet. 
That's the that's the explanation I give. I don't know if it's entirely right, but I like to think it is. You know, that's about right. That's about right. The definition. <laughs> Deep philosophical conversations we have on this on these streams. The cleaning up litter boxes and the definition of meat. Rango Star as Donald Duck. Syphilis. Winnie the Pooh having a musket. To fend off all the heffalumps and woozles. Laughing about swaddling and how silly it looks. <laughs> Once again, not that I'm complaining, mind you. Also, I may have another healing church convert on my hands. Oh boy, what have you done this time? <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Well, uh, the person I was talking to, uh, they were like, well, yeah, you know, I got past, um, I got past Livig, and I'm really interested in you know, his character and everything. Things are starting to make more sense, because I have more context for things. And I was like, hey, hey, I got fan art if you want to see it. Because they were like, I wonder what his new appearance is like. And I'm like, oh, I got you, girl, girl, I got you. So I DM'd them. Discord and sent them a bunch of stuff. They were like, "Oh no, oh no." Oh, he's a handsome lad. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, in the words of Timmy Turner's dad, "Oh no, he's hot." <laughs> Basically, that's what happened. It's like, "Oh man, he's so hot." I'm like, <laughs> "Welcome to my hell." I mean, I'll always default to uh, the Timmy's dad's reaction the first time he saw Mr. Crocker. So, we'll see, we'll see. They still have to get through some of the DLC, so. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, uh, right, I think they were gonna... Oh, you mean you and I? Yes. <laughs> I like that it took you a minute to answer oh, that. Wait, wait, wait. I was like, what? Never mind. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. That was a joke. I'm waiting for the ding. I'm waiting for the ding. <laughs> oh, ding. <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking about, like, what are you... When they were doing the Robot Minds Barack Obama thing. And Crudder like flips the table in the animation and then runs into a bell. Oh yeah. Um But yeah. So they're like, oh yeah, I might go uh I might go pay a visit to Lawrence and I'm like, you should you should do that. You should just go do that and see what happens. They're like, oh, well, not today. I mean, maybe tomorrow. I'm like, report back when you have. Good. Huh. You know, Halloween Town definitely is one of the more interesting worlds, I will say that. Yeah. In, in, in some ways, usually fun. I mean, not nearly as good as it was in 2, but still alright. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Pumpkinhead. This is why you always smack the ambient objects. This holds true. Yeah. Apart from the fact that, you know, it's like, it's me and apparently I have no respect for the dead or whatever. No, I, I do. In real life, yes. In video games, hell no. In video games, Fable taught me that the dead have great stuff. You can argue that Soulsborne also taught you that. Yeah. How much good shit picked off of corpses in those games? All so of it. <laughs> so many. All of the good stuff. Like, you get healing supplies and bloodborne. You know, some people are just like hold like hoarding bullets. Hmm. And then Dark Souls, they're just sitting there with like armor. I want to do Bottomless Darkness, but I only have one of those. And right now, like the only card value I have for that is nine. I'm gonna hold on to that. Mm, yeah, I would. 
I'm gonna go for the roulette room instead to see if we can get more of them. I smacked the wrong gargoyle. As in, I smacked the statue rather than the heartless. Chip and Dale are very sad about that. Bee sting, huh? A big bee! Maybe that reference, kids. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Don't put Twinkies on your pizza. I don't want to try that, admittedly, but, like, I don't feel like going out and grabbing Twinkies just for that. Yeah. Oh, I see a bottomless darkness. It's another nine. Ooh, that's six and seven. Let's go for six. Fortunately, it's... It stops instantly. Once I get some better straight setup, I'll probably, uh, or once I have more flexibility with my deck setup, I'll probably, uh, build it in a way that allows for me to do slates quickly. Uh-oh. Run! I know she always meant well, but still. I mean, you're not around to experience playtime anymore. That's why I use past tense. But you are, so there's no use past tense. Yeah, but I'm not over there any a lot, so. I didn't sound like you were about to say any more. I was like, Jesus Christ, what happened? Uh, banishment. <laughs> I feel like there's a capacity or a limit to how many room cards you can have, but I am going out of my way to try and make, or try and use a lot of them. Yeah. Damned fountain. I'm not trying to hit the clock. I'm trying to hit the heartless. I'll have to do another premium room at some point to get better uh, card setups, but it's okay for what it is. Ooh, a mighty darkness. No parents. Lots of money. Makes it better. And it makes it better. Don't you woogity- oh no, he woogity'd on me! I love how that's become a thing ever since Gravelord Nito's woogity hands during my Soul Level 1 run. Look, it, it's true though. It really does look like he's doing the rocket power woogity woogity. <laughs> oh my god, did you ever see that comic where it's like, uh, or uh, Sam's hanging on the edge of a cliff? And it's like, Sam, grab my hand! Woogity woogity woogity. And then, like, in the next panel, it's just Otto hanging on the edge of the- or, like, had dangling over the edge of the cliff, like, oh no. <laughs> it's so dark, but I love it. Oh god, last night, uh, John was streaming Babar to the rescue as part of High Risk Fortune Cookie. And, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with Babar, but he's, like, an elephant who's a king of the savannah. 
it's an old, uh, it's an old story thing. I'm trying to think of how long. Since, like, 1931, I think, was, uh, what Wikipedia told me. So the thing is, you know, it was just like Bavar's trying to find his kids. And he comes across a rhino who has a car. He's like, can you give me a ride? He's like, you can take my car. And so it goes into a driving segment that is not particularly well done. But, like, you know, they start joking. It's like, can I total this? It's like, Fabar, you destroyed my car. I'll buy you another one. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> later on, there's a hot air balloon segment at the beginning and at the end. And at the end, there's, like, a whole uh, lightning, or there's a whole bunch of clouds that just launch lightning bolts everywhere. And John saying something about, like, red balloon rising, and then in the middle of it, his balloon gets struck by lightning. <laughs> I could not stop laughing. I felt like I was going to be sick. It's just such a dumb thing to laugh at, but that seems to be my M.O. I don't know. It was a good stream. Yeah, I saw that uh, little thread today, but I'm sitting there like, that deer would be a perfect one to go. At least for my needs. The evil spirit enters the person when the person consumes human flesh. Yeah. So, how would it enter here? Oh, it wouldn't. I'm just talking about my project. Oh. Oh, well, that's right. Oh, right, 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 right. Which I know sounds horrifying if you don't have context, but I'm just like, no, you know what? I'm just gonna make a Halloween skeleton. My boy. Look what they did to my boy. Also, What's up? Team Cherry did a thing. Team Cherry? Yeah, yeah Team Cherry, the creators of Hollow Knight. Oh, that would be why I didn't recognize the name. Um, basically, they were like, oh yeah, we're gonna release this DLC for this one character from Hollow Knight. Everyone's oh. like, yeah, cool. And it was the Black like, Knight, right? No, um, it was, uh, Hornet. Oh, okay. Um, and they, they come out today, they're like, surprise, it's actually a whole new game. Nice. So, yeah, um, I get to play as one of my favorites, and I'm so excited. Very nice. She's so good. And with how... It kind of, it feels Dark Souls-esque, and like, at least in aesthetic and character-wise, it, it's hard to explain. No, I feel you. But like, Hornet reminds me of Kieran. Hey! <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Hey! <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I was telling, I was telling some people in the Discord, I was like, yeah, you know, my brother was telling me, um, yeah. Like, there, there's there's a knight. There's an important knight that shares my name. And because, you know, I've grown up with you my whole life, I was expecting a, expecting a guy. But then she showed up and I was like, what? Oh my god, it's a lady. Yeah. And, and I love her. And the people that attack her for her armor are monsters. Nice. Oh man, there's a life-size furret plush now. What? Tom Fox just tweeted about what? it. So, I, so it's what? uh, he's at first off. I think I need this. Second, this further proves that furret's five eleven height is from head to tail, not head to foot. <laughs> I 
I love for it. I just retweeted it. That's Auntie Luca posting food porn. Again. Yeah. God damn, that burger setup she had with like the rice, the burger, and then the fried egg on top. I was like, oh. I know, right? Luca, if you somehow end up watching this either here or on a VOD, hi. Uh, let's see. To the roulette room. God, I was thinking about, you know, John's Zelda voice being like, did you get the screeches? <laughs> okay, if I can't go here, maybe I can go through the other door. I know for it fulfills that role of uh, you know, the rodent and stuff. Or, like, you know, the, uh, starting normal type. But I'm still just like, it's so good, though. It looks so fuzzy. I, I love her. Okay? She's so cute. I'm not faulting you. Like, don't, like, people try and knock with the starting normal types in their evolved form. But Linus? Let me tell you, Linun is a fucking tank. Right? That's why I always name it Lennon. <laughs> I mean, apart from the fact that it's just like that name came to me one day and I'm just like, yes. Uh, Linun will help us seize the means of production. <laughs> I'll still never get over the zigzag Yeah, You suck! At level 13, I killed my bug. I mean... That's why Chugga named his uh, Zigzagoon Slavenator. I was trying to get a. I was trying to get a ninjas. Oh man, that's right. I, I remember this too, cause uh, yeah, that was that was during your Nuzlocke yeah. when you when you really came to love Shroomish. Oh man. I can't uh. blame you though, because Breloom is amazing. Breloom carried me through three gyms. Like, whew. all you needed was an electrode, though, and like, Winona could not have touched you. Yeah, but I managed. I know. I'm just laughing though because you know your Venectric Glufasa ended up getting killed. But you're like, yeah, I'll be fine. No, that Altaria new earthquake. <laughs> Fuck that Altaria. No. Not. That does not make any sense. Why not? It's a dragon type. No, it floats. Dragonite doesn't. <laughs> Dragonite actually has legs. I'll be honest though. It's like when you see Dratini and Dragonair, then you look at Dragonite. You're like, what? No, a lot of people bring that up. It's like, well, if you actually evolution the right way, you know, people have drawn that out before. That would be alright. I think I'm doing better this time around, especially because I've, uh, I haven't been going for weak enemies as much. Yeah. Rumor with Heartless, where, or room where Heartless with strong cards appear. Uh, three or higher or zero? No. This is where I want to use my three. Into the bottomless darkness with us. Ba bum. Ooh, spooky. My God, the only way you can tell where you've been is just by your footprints. And there's shadows everywhere. I may have made a mistake. Man, am I bad at math. He's tired of being swaddled all the time. That's what happens when you choose cords in place of my feet. I know. I'm just gonna be like 
swan one saga every time I'm on stream. Yeah, it's like Boat Murdered, but with cats. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that statement. Yes. Did you not read Boat Murdered? I know what it's about. <laughs> it, I go back to it every song. I just, I still laugh at, Welcome to fucking Boat Murdered. Hope yeah. you like my asthma. Oh, God. Just like, that story is a riot from start to finish. Yeah. There was also like, I had to wear professional clothes. Yeah, I remember. Important people were coming in. And after like five hours, I'm like, I don't want to wear this anymore. Yeah, it was kind of great though, because the one day I was there late was also the first day we had our, uh, interim eh, station manager in while well, my current station manager is away on uh, maternity leave and like I forget why maybe that was the day I slept in but uh you know he just like he's you get back to, or you come in this late on the day we got the big wakes here you go in there and take your occurrence on the chin I'm like yeah I normally do <laughs> like I try not to be late if I can help it but, yeah. you know, sometimes that happens. Yeah, I've been getting better about it myself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, mainly like... Because, go ahead. Mainly because I don't want to hear it. Like, I need to hear it earlier. I so know. I just, I just don't want to hear it, so I'm like, you know what? Spike. I'm getting there early out of spike. I just... I love it, though, because, uh... I messaged Marcus the one day I was up super late because of Persona 5. And I was just like, I'm gonna be there a bit late today. I'll get, a, I'll get there. I only just woke up, and this was like 1:55. It's like, how the hell do you sleep until two in the afternoon? I'm like, that would require explaining why I was afraid to start Persona 5. <laughs> All right, uh, do another health boost. So let's go ahead and do a few more levels of card points. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of why I'm afraid to start it because I know myself yeah. and. Yeah, I'm not at that point with Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. I, I have a little bit of self restraint. Mm -hmm. um, but, well, I mean, it helps that I'm stuck in air right now. It's all um, Once I get past that, once things really start ramping up, I'm not gonna know what to do. Yeah. Oh man, I, I almost cleared the room with the blizzard. Jack. Ah, well. This is a really nice way to level up in these rooms. Yeah. And the Halloween Town aesthetic really does help that. Oh man, I need more of these for Agrabah. Because Aladdin has that ability that allows him to uh, get movable points out of things when he hits them. So just imagine all the shadows in here getting slammed by that. Unfortunately, it's going to take me a minute or two to get through these guys because they keep sinking into the ground before I can get my cards ready. That sounds about right. Or I just mistime it. Alright, Jack, go to it. Okay, gravity is helpful, but not in this instance. It would be my honor, Tony. My honor, Tony. Do it, do it, Lars! God, I can't wait to get the, uh... Oh, what is it? I can't wait to get elixirs in my deck. So what level are we now? 25, nice. And I have 60-some card points to work with. How many levels left? Six. Hundred. What? <laughs> 600. You need 600 to pass. You, you got, got six. six. <laughs> My life. 
All right, let's see. I want to replace one of the other. No, no I, I don't need to replace them right now, so. Let's go ahead and throw in another fire. Let's go with a seven this time. And we can actually do another blizzard so we can get Blizzaga. What? Cute. <laughs> Alternatively, I could put in one of the one of the enemy cards we have. So like Parasite Cage that always nullifies at the enemy card. That's good until you need to reload. Yeah. Jafar would also be handy because he has that stops enemies from breaking attack cards you use. Oh, the high potion is nice though because it's just like quickly reloads all attack cards. So if I can get a high ether or a mega ether, whatever it is then we'd be able to use that, too. Hmm. I only have 13 card points left. I can't add anything else, so we're good for now. All right, card with number four higher or zero. Let's do another... No, no, let's not do a Tranquil Bounty. How many Moogle points do I have? So many. 226. Not so enough... many. Not enough to really merit that. So... Uh, I don't think I need a save point at this time, at this moment in time. Those are very dangerous words you just uttered. To be fair, it lets you continue from the previous room. Oh. Okay, well that's not so bad. That's always been a thing with Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I think I just got burned a little bit with this last fight I had to do in Arendelle. I finally got past it. Um, this last night it was giving me trouble for whatever reason. But I nailed it today! Huzzah! Ooh, another roulette room. Well, I mean, I made it, so I should know what's in it, but still. That's the point of the thing, not to know. I had to finish the fight while the cat was swaddled. That must have been so hard to concentrate just with all of his protesting. Well, I mean, like, he stays still for nervous, so it wasn't so bad. Fair enough, I guess. It was kind of interesting, though, because I had him, like, bubbled up in my arms and the controller just, like, in my hands. Oh, I didn't realize you have to hold him when he swaddled. Yeah. Otherwise, he'll escape. Well, I'm sorry. I just figured it's like he swaddled up and then like, you know, he's just off to the side somewhere because like he can't move. No, I, I'm not that good at swaddling. I know enough so that I, I can still hold him and he doesn't, I can't like move or go anywhere. Hmm. I mean like he can, he can squirm a little bit, but it's not going to get him very far. Okay. That's fair enough. I'm not, like, expert swaddle where I can just tuck and tuck until he can't move because he's tucked in so well. You haven't perfected the art of tucking children into bed. No, because I don't play on having children. Fair enough. That to someone else. I need so much experience for the next level. I'm sad now. Whoa, oh, the fountain almost got me again. <laughs> okay, Damn six, fountain. seven, and the key of guidance. Let's go ahead and use the seven that... I can't use the seven for this? Oh, wait, no, six. That's right. Uh, let's go ahead and use Calm Bounty. Then we'll do Moments Reprieve. There we go. Always hold on to your zeros, kids. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You never know what is going to come through that door. <laughs> I like how I went Pawn Stars and you went uh, Toy Story 2. Yes. God. I just will always love that. She's just like, and a key. 
I don't know what it's for. But you never know. Oh, and some play doh. <laughs> it's a monkey chow. Monkey chow. Why do I need monkey chow? Well, for, for the, the monkeys, monkeys, of course. That's it. I draw the line at monkeys. Get my agent on the phone. <laughs> oh, man. Look, he's got a nice football tackle. I mean, it's unfortunate that it happened to Sally, but it, he's still got a good tackle. <laughs> Poor Sally doesn't deserve this shit. Not much of a punch, but it would give a door a mean knock. Also, how can Oogie get away anywhere? Like, he's so big, it'd be really hard for him to fit through anything. And when I say big, I just mean, like, he's bulky. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Okay, so I need to go back to Feeble Darkness. And I need to go that way. So from here, I need to head south. And then east. Well, first things first, let's go smack some Heartless around. I know you're only creatures of instinct, but you're trying to ruin worlds, you're going to catch these hands. Or this key. I was going to say, is Sora punching Heartless now? I mean, you saw what happened in Lingering Will's fight. He could, like, he backheads you with the Keyblade, which then becomes a drill. The moral of the story is don't make Keyblade wielders angry, because if they have enough control, you're screwed. Oh, yeah. This is why I would not be a good Keyblade wielder. <laughs> I would be... I would be a Sith Lord. Yeah. Now that I'm complaining about that, mind you. I mean, it has its ups and downs. Also, I'm kind of bummed that, to my knowledge, there isn't a Star Wars world in Kingdom Hearts yet. I can't tell you, because I don't know myself. Fair enough. Ooh, I can do Wild Crush. Goofy Tunnel. Battery Ram away! You'll work this time! <laughs> oh, I, I need to be a bit more precise about my aiming, but that was still fun. It's so weird, because, like, for the longest time, I was just like, oh, I gotta stream. But now I'm actually looking forward to it a lot. Well, yeah. I mean, I, it does help that you're here, so we can just come up with the most yeah. random stuff. Well, yeah, it's half the fun. Like yeah. Jiminy Cricket being Ringo Starr. I don't, I don't regret that decision, by the way. Hello, Padok. Yeah. It's me, your conscience. Nope. Yeah. Kill it. Yeah. Oh, er, if you're going by the book, then yes, Pinocchio did kill the cricket. Aw, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's Jimmy. Yeah. Cricket. Burn it. I still love the time I got a, uh... Oh, I don't... It was a Darumaka. And you were just like, oh, you got Needle Volcano! And I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I said that with zero context. Oh, God. I, for some reason, I was thinking about Donna Drills the other day at work. Or just, it was yesterday for some reason, Donna Drills was on my mind. It'd be like that sometimes. I know. Oh, I walked right into a Heartless. Did you ever see those old Mountain Dew ads where it was just like... It was something about gingers, specifically? I don't know. There was some weird ad that was just about Mountain Dew and involved red-haired people. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm at a loss. I got nothing. I'm dying, Squirtle. It'll be over soon. Again, what is it with you sounding like everyone's dying? 
it will all be over soon. You know, I honestly blame WoW because, uh, you know, I was really into raiding during Wrath of the Lich King, and one of the intro raids was Noxramus, which was a floating necropolis. And the first boss everybody fought was a Nubricon. And as a result, you know, I think whenever you died, or if someone died, one of the messages that would play would just be him calming you, just being like, shh, it will all be over soon. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you engage him, it's like, yes, run. It makes the blood pump faster. Considering that he was a uh, spider person, that makes sense. Oh, have you started Spider-Man yet? No, I haven't. Oh, I cannot wait for you to do that. Still in Kingdom Hearts 3 Hell, remember? Yeah, I know. And I can only play it in small intervals while I'm working, so... Me with Persona 5. Like, if I had had a chance, I would have sat down and just done that almost non-stop. Oh, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I mean... Go ahead. I didn't have to tend to adult responsibility, so I'd be binging the shit out of this game. But I have to make money and take care of my kitty and clean. So here I am. That is totally fair. And it's like, you know, I do yeah. miss having the free time that we did as kids, but I don't miss yeah. being a kid. Because it's like, I know so much yeah. more now, and I love it. Yeah, that you have more freedoms. I really do. Like, like I, I'm trying to think. Well, I, can, I, mean, I, I can drive. This, this is true. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I just thought about it the other day. I was like, when was the last time I went to bed? 8.30 at night. Uh, grade school. Yeah, unless I was, like, super dead like. Yeah, I mean, when I'm tired at, uh, you know, when I'm just exhausted after a day where I've stayed up much later than I should have, as was the case when I was up until, like, 6 a.m. the other day with Persona 5, it was worth it. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It was like, I decided to go to bed early that night. And it felt really nice. Yeah. Like, I just thought about it. It used to be the norm. I got, it's like, well, you gotta go to bed. It's 8.30. And I'm just like, looking at it now, like, that's yeah. so cool. Mm hmm That's a lot of white knights. Yeah. No, that would be the white that would be the white rider or the pale rider. Sorry, it's another Persona 5 thing. You can make the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And it's uh red rider, white rider, black rider, and pale rider. And then you can combine all of them to make a trumpeter. Which is an angel with a skeleton. Or it's a skeletal angel. Of course. I mean, all of the riders are basically just skeletons in robes. They're like the Nazgul. I had to think about that for a second. I'm glad you saw the uh, Lord of the Rings video I shared yesterday that was just the Nazgul <laughs> scene, but with a cat. <laughs> I died! Oh my god. <laughs> the freaking can! In place of the ring! It was so good. <laughs> also, that was a really cute cat, so. I mean, to be fair, a lot of cats are cute. Except for maybe Persians, but that's not their fault. Hell, I mean, I find Sphinx is cute. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm still like, you know what? They're all right. They're wrinkly babies. Hairless wrinkly babies. Yeah. 
I'm trying to think, are there hairless dogs? I don't think so. Hold on. Oh dear. I pray for your soul. Did you find one? What's up? Oh, is there? What's it called? Is it Chinese? Is it... Is it Middle Eastern? <laughs> oh. You know, I I should have realized that because, you know, you have places like Chicxulu where the asteroid that apparently or purportedly killed the dinosaurs landed. That could be. It the whole the, f the full name is like Cholo. It's Lee. Wow, that was bad. Um. It's okay. Remember, it's like uh, Kita told Milo, Boorish provincial, and you speak it through your nose. Okay. That's kind of neat to know, honestly. Okay. You know, one advantage to this system, though, is that the Heartless can't attack you when you're in the middle of things like using potions, if you have the right card numbers. Still not my preferred system of combat, but it's workable. What do we need for our next level? 1504? Man, we leveled up fast there. Uh, I think we'll be alright. Hey, what's up, Connor? How you doing, man? We're just kind of shooting the shit again. That's... We found hairless dogs. Yes, yes, we did. I don't know how to continue that statement, admittedly. Alright. Chillin', bro. I work from 8 to 6.30 today. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. We, uh... I didn't have a bad day at work, actually. That was kind of nice. So, uh, I made my own chili, as I'm sure you saw. I made a uh, chicken sandwich to go with it. Stop, stop with swell people buying seafood to flex for Valentine's Day. Oh. Connor says hi. Hello. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we were busy until, like, 7 this evening. But once that was done, it was kind of nice. Time just kind of breezed by. Uh, also, don't feel bad, Connor. I know that long shift life. Seven to seven. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, Benny. Aw, oh, Benny. Alright, let's see. I don't remember how exactly to play Oogie, but we'll see. Oh. What's up? Oh, you actually looked it up? Yes. I know that's not the case, but it does sound like Cholo eats quaintly. I know. Oh, I have to do card breaks until... Uh, the thing. So, once the gate comes, or I have to do card breaks, and each one will, uh, lower the gate a little bit more. So now it's time to bludgeon everything out of Ogi. Well, since he's made out of bugs. 
Dude, spoilers. How old is that movie? How old? Uh, old enough? Hold on. <laughs> Go to Google. It's at least 20 years. I keep forgetting you're not an entire two years behind me in terms of age. It's more like a, a year and ten months. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I accidentally just wasted my ether. Just smack me, Iggy. Fire! Freeze! Why would you make a why would you have to make a live action remake for that? Is that actually proposed? I just saw an article that was like Disney considers sequels or a live action remake for Nightmare Before Christmas. The thing is it's doable, it's just it probably would not have the same charm. But it's like, you know, if they were to make a sequel, I don't know, what would that entail? That's it. They're gonna take over Easter. I hope so. I mean, the Easter Bunny already had a cameo. Oh, I got my ether back. Hooray. I will lower this fence for you. Damn it. One more should do it. Got it. Historic occasion tonight. I'll be turning 25. Dude, nice. Happy early birthday, man. Merry Birthmas! Today I learned that uh, you cannot use gravity on Oogie's dice. <laughs> I mean, he does anyway. Well, he does, but you can't. That's fair. Wait, no, it's not. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there like, oh, I mean, I guess. Aw, Nintendo sent out a Valentine's Day newsletter. Aw. That is really nice. Oh my god, I really, really want them to do uh, Last Surprise as some of the combat music. At least that way I can just start with, uh, Say some gangsta is dissing your fly girl. You just give one of these. <laughs> you can't tell me that stealing hearts for self-defense was not a fantastic uh, Simpson shit post for that. Oh, great. Fire. All right, so unfortunately, I've only got one. I I don't have what I need to really uh, set this up yet for Oogie. There we go.
Okay, so I can only uh, I can only do this if I card break the dice. I know. Got him. Like I said, I, I try to do my premium cards for the slates, but sometimes you just need to. By the way, I'm geeking out over the Fire Emblem Nintendo Direct. I mean, you know I never really got into Fire Emblem, but I can respect that. It's more like I don't know where to start with Fire Emblem. It's Fire Emblem Hogwarts Edition and I'm all for it. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Oh, man. I, I want that now. Oh, well. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's like, Fire Emblem is like medieval XCOM, I want to say. Except instead of, uh, you know, weapons having ammo, they have durability. Then again, I think I only I only ever played a little bit of the Sacred Stones. I don't know. I'm I'm out of things to talk about at the moment. I'm still laughing because every time I look over, I just see that swaddled picture. <laughs> It's not making me laugh quite as hard as uh, Igor and the Moon swapping places did. Look, that's one of a kind. Yeah, yeah that was a beautiful shit post. Love it. Ten out of ten. I think you'll love it even more once you play the game and have full context. Honestly, my friend is just really glad that she liked it that much. It was like, I was in that much need of a, I was in that bad need of a laugh, or that, a need of a laugh that badly, and it just delivered in spades. Oh yeah, I was cracking up over it, so I'm like... It's just it, Igor with like, the grin and the long nose, <laughs> in the sky. Like, it took me a hot second to figure out what was going yeah. on, and I had to like, study the picture, but then once I got it, I just lost my shit. I, mean, I knew I knew enough about Persona 5 to know what was going on. And I think it's made even better by Caroline and Justine just in the side, or like uh, on the side <laughs> there with the sweat drops, like, uh, should we say uh -huh. something? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Sacred Stones is pretty good from what I heard. Uh, my grade school friend Tom actually really liked it. <gasps> oh really? Mm -hmm. He That's how I found out about it. I never knew that. Yeah. Oh, hi, Larkseed. Anyway, how's your love Too life? clever. I'm Larkseed. So, are you enjoying your stay at the castle? Yeah. I bet it's nice to peel away all the worthless memories. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's 13 floors here, because why wouldn't there be? <laughs> that uh, lie yeah. deep in your heart. True memories. What are you on, like, floor six? Although, yeah. It seems that you're so we're about to go up to floor seven. Thing here. When that poor girl What's here you've Lark forgotten scene? her name, why? I don't know that I want to. It'll break her heart. <laughs> poor girl. Look. Do you look, know if her? You're th if you're thirsty on stream, I get it. Look, <laughs> been there, done that. Bought the T-shirt. She... Thirst has no curfew. <laughs> yes, she is. Hey, I was already thirsting over my man you see, the last bad guys time in the street, so. I know. It's okay. Somewhere deep inside the yeah. castle. Plus, I mean, Larkseed could heroes, definitely step so on my neck anytime. Save her. <laughs> Although. God, I'm just like, I just want a hug. And you're just like, nah, nah, she could step on me. I mean, she probably would anyway. I'm a bad oh, oh guy, yeah, so no question asked. Do you wouldn't even have to ask her. She just, she just do it. I, I can just imagine that. Like, who do you think you are? Oh my God, yes, please. Mine. What a shame! What the fuck? You've been wearing it. All just that pause. Like, forgot. Takes foot off neck. No. I might have to rethink this. That's not possible. 
This isn't the working has out. To be engraved this this working out thing isn't working out. Working out. Sora. Ow. Ow. Careful. Ow. 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 What? Ow. What could it be? You didn't realize Fire Emblem was and permanent? Who? Yeah, I mean, I I did the same thing with XCOM. Yeah. And I lost Dan's character immediately after spending like an hour customizing him. Sora, Sora, I survived You're though. It now. Somehow, the memory from I need to get back to that. Because, <laughs> like, for some reason, the Glados voice pack stopped working, so I wasn't having as much fun. Aww. Well, it's about time. But uh. Yeah, like, Dan was watching when his character dies, like, rest in peace, you glorious yes, pink armored bastard. Gave you that tacky little good luck charm. Not that you even bothered to remember. No surprise, seeing as you also couldn't remember her name. Talk about well, heartless. I can't her believe lies. you. Too late. It'd serve you right no. decided to smash this piece of junk. Let's Let it go. <laughs> Nominate gave me this. But yeah, it's like it's very important to me. I, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings on permadeath. Oh, yeah, you get invested and you have some amazing stories. But still. Yeah. Ten seconds ago you didn't even know what it was. Alright. And yes, you do hear the thirteenth struggle during these fights. TV. Is there anything it can't do? Trust me when I say it's not nearly the same as it was in uh, two. Oh yeah, I mean that's meant horrifying. Vanish. You're done. Horrifying. I don't think it was done, like, maliciously, though. It was just meant to be a challenge, and Nomura doesn't seem to understand that challenge and, you know, Death Wish are not, are, are uh, mutually, well, they're not mutually exclusive. Or something like that. It sounded better in my head. It's like the challenges get ridiculous. Oh no. <laughs> I am, I'm still like coherent. This is my brain isn't working as well. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm not letting you take me down, Larkseen. No, I'm not. Oh. She said you're done, and I'm just like, the fuck you say? She's so fast and so aggressive, I love her to pieces. Uh -oh. I'm dead. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> All right, try again. Get back in the ring. Back in the ring with you, Rock. <laughs> yeah, Larkseed fights are always tough like that, but. Oh, yeah. You know. Not make it easy. It's okay. I've, I've got a better head for it now. Yeah. We're going to play it smart. Oh, you mean the absent silhouette? Yeah. <laughs> it'll take me lightning ten million years to complete. Yeah. But I'll do it. It's over. 
Hey, that's fair. It took me time. Where is he forgetting me in the souls board? Now I actually like challenges. What is this? Uh, I did good. I broadened your horizons. I mean, did. In more ways than that. I know. I helped you figure out your type, too. Always cancel Megavolt if you can. Oh. Send you some Fire Emblem based reading on your FB for viewing pleasure. Alright, cool. I'll take a look at that later. Thanks, man. Woo! Now you're done, Larxene, dear. I should not use Donald during this fight because he will use Thunder, and I know this from experience, but... It's the best I could do. No, stop teleporting! I just want to focus! Stop it! Ooh. Nice place you got here. Almost done. Done! That was... Uh, that was actually really satisfying. That end pose. Like, you just punched her in the gut. I mean, I did backhand her with a keyblade. <laughs> you saw that. Like, Sora did his backswing and it just smacked her right in the gut. What a way to go out. So yeah, I think we can prioritize card points and then just do a health thing every few levels. <laughs> You're not as bad as I thought. You really are a hero. A heartless hero. Who Don't make fun of Sora just because oh, he became a heartless at one point. Because it's the truth? <laughs> you are just a baby. And if you're gonna be a baby, then here you go. That was a very I delicate throw. I card from your memories, you know. Be a good boy and say thanks. Yeah. Ta-ta. Wait, Luxine! <laughs> God, she's the perfect hey. bitch. Hey, that's my straw. Don't you lick that. <laughs> Blim. Where are you? Don't you dare <laughs> lick me! Show <laughs> yourself! Blim. Just right on my drink. Guess not for kitties. Sora, calm down. Yeah, you She's can yell at me all back. you want. Sora? I'm really pleased with how much headway we've been making the Why past couple of days. Like that to bring back Mamine's memory. Well, I'm gonna drink it anyway. Ooh, okay. We've got Atlantica, Neverland, Hollow Bastion, and the Hundred Acre Wood. Which puts us at floor 10 once we're done there. So 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, maybe it's only 12 floors. No, wait. No, no, it's 13. Because uh -huh. I remember there's one world that we don't get access to quite yet. Whew. Throwing that battle wore me out. Really? It looked to me like you yeah. just plain lost. How dare you! You don't appreciate the nuances of an ungainly huh? effort. My science man! <laughs> I love his voice for some reason. By someone of such limited it's so snobby. It's great. It's perfect. It you is. shame the organization. How can we? I shall you? freeze you! It's not very often we see you, top Plus side. his eyes. I came like to lend things. you a hand. You obviously if I were an Ever cosplay him, I'd probably have to use bronzer just to get and like the appearance of like the sa calling. the shallow cheeks. I think an right. experiment would show if he really is a God, do some contouring. Hmm. Since it is simply for the dick, well, we, we have again. to do it. <laughs> it's just an excuse, so you can carry out your little experiments, that's all. Also, why do they all have greenish eyes? 
Experiments are what I do. I just noticed that. Yes. What well, are you definitely can do more what like you want. Well, so are axes, you know, but then, like, Vexen has straight green. Is just a cover for testing your valet. Valet. We'll call He's the product of pure but, research. But they're, they look what very similar. Is, is it totally... they're, they're similar, but there's, like, a you couple should just learn to be quiet. Fair enough. Anyway, since you came all this Don't way, that. you're gonna need this. Oh, that's the and one I was thinking of. Elder. I hope you use it to put on a very good show for us. I love a, a humble gift to my elder. Did you see the world that was on it? Yes. Yeah, that's the eleventh floor. They've got oh. I think. We got a rescuer. You better the twelfth. Whew. Sora sure does seem like he's upset. You be too. He just remembered a friend, but found out she's in trouble. Good point. I guess if we heard that the king was in danger. We would be pretty upset about that, too. Is he acting up? Yes. What's he doing? Trying to chew a cord. That, that little sod. You're gonna get swaddled again. <laughs> I can't help but laugh whenever it comes up now. And next time, you won't be Nameless King. You'll be Artorias. I'm not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> Alright, we ready for the last world of the night? Alright, what do we think? Atlantica, Neverland, Hollow Bastion, or Hundred Acre Wood? Hmm. <laughs> You're thinking Hundred Acre Wood, aren't you? No, I was reading something. Oh. oh. <laughs> Forget the friend zone. Tell him he's the son you've always wanted. Aw. I'm going with Hunter Nick Ruin. We may as well. Chronologically, it is the one that opens up first among these. <laughs> so it's like, Queen Christina of Sweden literally did this to her cousin, Charles Bruce. He had been in love with her for over a decade and proposed to her on numerous occasions. Under great political pressure to break up with her girlfriend, Mary, stop talking to French philosophers, continue fighting with religious war in Germany, etc., she converted from Protestantism to Catholicism and abdicated the throne to her cousin by adopting him as her son. She then moved to Rome to pursue her dreams of chilling with the Pope, funding the arts, and dating more women. Chilling with the Pope. Yes. I don't know why that just sticks with me as well. This is the same Queen Christina of Sweden who made a female cour courtier the official royal bedfellow, which is about as gay as it sounds. <laughs> oh, God. Women need to be in power more often. It says, the Pope described Christina as, quote, a queen without a realm, a Christian without faith, and a woman without shame. Hey, no problem in not having shame. Hashtag life goals. Okay, I wasn't actually trying to look for Pooh's friends. I was just looking around the room. This is what happens. Your curiosity will be the death of you. Yes, this is why I always... This is why when I explore, I always end up going the right way somehow. Right? Yeah. Piglet, Piglet. That's not, that's not how running works. Piglet? There we go. Now he's nice and calm. Come on, Piglet. It's okay. Also, the, how does Sora bend his knees that much? He's young. Oh, the days when we were limber. Actually, I think the Hundred Acre Wood is a relatively short world since, like, there was no combat in it. Hmm. Oh, I learned Confuse. Nice. Hey. Alright. 
What's that? If you don't know the difference between a hare and a rabbit, you've never gazed into the cold, wild eyes of a hare and known that if it could speak, it would speak backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> Ooh, what did I just pick up? Kingdom yeah. key. Yeah. I feel so bad. I'm in Pooh's house just destroying all of his honey pots. As you do. I don't always do that. You know what? Where's that musket, Pooh? Yeah. He won't tell me where the musket is. It's probably for the best. Is there anything on this side of the house? Probably not. Oh, we're at Rabbit's place. All right. Ooh, can I blow up the pumpkins? I cannot. Can I destroy the bridge? Nope, but Tigger can. Ultra Instinct Tigger. That's what it is. And poor Rabbit, I just I just destroyed the barricade in front of his house. You're a monster. Nothing's yeah. going to stop it, Pooh from getting his honey now. Dun, dun. I just wanted to bring more pots before I went into Rabbit's house. Mm. Oh, poor Pooh. <laughs> oh, you saw him get rolled over? Yeah. Good. What's up? Oh my god! What did you find? The tailors at Colonial Williamsburg made a suit for their cat. Good. Oh my god, it's so cute! Even though I have my own kitty, I still just squeak with joy every time I see a stray. Nice. I mean, that's fair, honestly. Okay, when you see triangle, sort the veggie by throwing the keyblade. Sort cabbages to the left with square and pumpkins to the right with circle. Yeah, all right, let's do this. Nice and simple. Smack. Ow. Yeah. See, I don't mind this kind of mini game. Oh, ow. Who, oh, yes. you're in the way! Stop chasing the butterfly! I know it can wait forever and ever, but still! Also, why can I strike ray these cabbages? It doesn't make sense. They have, they have wronged you. How durable are these pumpkins and cabbages that smacking them with a keyblade doesn't hurt yeah. them? <laughs> Honest question. Yeah. Like, what the hell are these pumpkins yeah. made of? Titanium. Oh, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> that was a big old pumpkin. I wonder how far I can keep this going. What are you playing with? A keyblade and vegetables. Oh, yes. you with a cat. Oh. <laughs> Highly suspect. <laughs> Rabbit, how many vegetables do you have? I ask this most sincerely. I am kind of concerned. Look 
Because, like, look at how many vegetables I've sorted so far. Oh my god. Shit. There we go. And the big pumpkin only counts as three. What? There he is! This is the great pumpkin! It was the bowling ball, Linus. Do you remember the yeah. robot chicken thing with the great yeah. pumpkin? Yes. Good. Yeah. Oh, yes. What are you doing? Are you tearing up my backpack? I hope not. Little butt. Little butt. He was, wasn't he? Give me a second. Swaddling a cat. Live action swaddling. Oh no! Okay, I got 87 out of that. Is that enough, Rabbit? Hey, I learned Cross Slash Plus? Cool. You know what? I I'm good with that. Thank you, Rabbit. Alright, so now I am assuming Eeyore? Or, oh no, we have to go up the honey tree. No! Do you want to fly with the balloons? Sounds like fun. You know, it's not going to be like the whirling buzzsaw of death I did in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, well. Alright, wait for it. Come on. Go up. That is better to wait. And I missed a balloon. I'll go back and grab that real quick. Never mind. I can only have three? Okay, that's totally fair. Perhaps a bit more. Poo. Why do you have a three-chambered stomach for honey? Why? Oh dear. Just drop down and drop that. Oh, that's fair. Let me go ahead and grab that too. Man, this is a tall tree. for Robin, sir. We have some things. Oh, shit, it's past 12. Oh, dude, nice. Happy birthday. For real this time. Give me a moment and I'll do your celebratory birthday air horn. Is Lawrence all swaddled now? Yes, he's complaining. Good. Oh no! I didn't make it all the way to the top. It's okay. I'll retry. So, I heard that. I can't pause. Okay. Let me go ahead and get this set up. So, in the spirit of it. Woo! Happy birthday! I don't know why, it's just dumb and I like it. He, he's not quite squeaky, it's just more like... It sounds like his voice is lost. <laughs> he does that. No! 
that's the way I want to go. Why did Pooh just ask, is this the way I want to go? Does he think we're going to die because I keep popping the balloons? I don't know. Like, the way he says, like, is this the way I want to go? Oh, no. we're down. Okay, you know what? Not nearly as good an attempt as last time. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> He is hell bent on it. He's yeah, he's he's fighting this left and right right now. It's okay. He'd be out in time with that first jump. <laughs> Stop it! You're not getting out. No. I don't know why, it's just, it, it's very silly to me that he's putting up that much of a fuss. This is my life. It's like I'm trying to concentrate on what Tigger's doing, and then all I hear is Lars objecting to his being swaddled. <laughs> oh well. Lad, it's not gonna get any easier. <laughs> How long do you normally swaddle him? Like two minutes? Depends on how bad he's been. Give him one more minute, Bubby. Oh man, I remembered that and I was half paying attention. You're making it worse! Stop. Oh well. We did good. Idle romp. Bambi zigzags around the battlefield, confusing the enemy. What is this? You know what? You know what? I'm actually going to go back and try the honey tree again. I'm just going to take my time. 
because we might be able to find something neat up there. Like another ridiculous slate. Well, uh, that was your kitty entertainment for the night. <laughs> as long as it... I understand. He needs to know not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for breaking your focus. No, it, it's fine. I got the jumps up to 47. Okay. Right now, I just need to... Uh... Play it carefully. Is this how I want to go? I'm like, who? That is dark. I mean, there, there it is again. We, we got hit by the bees, and that was the first thing he asked. Is it, or is it bad news? Yes, that it can wait. For how long? Forever and ever. Did you ever hear the thing of uh, Jim Cummings reading Darth Vader's lines as Winnie the Pooh? Yes. It was amazing. And he read them out with Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. Ooh, stop asking if we're going to die. I don't have that answer for you. Oh man, even touching the uh, even touching the thing with your feet, like the branches. There we go. We've got two balloons at least. No! Dang it. Okay, this is gonna be like that damned heartless from last night. Darned Parasite Cage. Let's try one more time. If we don't get it here, I'll come back later and do it. And the soul, you are my friend. I am your only friend. I certainly hope not. I who numb you. Who numb you, wipe you? <laughs> um, excuse me? I don't know. I was trying to come up with something to go with it, but it just wasn't happening. Great, now I'm trying to come up with a song. Haha! <laughs> the world is pain, the world is toothache. Trust in this whole industry. I am your only friend. Oh, Frollo. Tony J has a really good singing voice. Then again, I mean, he's got a good voice anyway. It... He lives on her memory and through the magic of DVDs. True. But yeah, it's like, it's like, Tony J has like the OG chocolate voice. That is honestly the best way I can put it. Oh my god, what are these B configurations? A phrase I never thought would leave my mouth. Yes, of course it's a lot of honey poo. You keep pushing me onward. You have a problem. It's called an addiction. That's why I said he's got a three-chambered stomach for honey. <laughs> it certainly seems like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh no, this is like 
Banjo Kazooie when you're trying to deal with the Zubbas as you're getting Grunty's quote golden honey piece. Oh god. I could just. I can't believe I was about to say I could just eat the bees. Because <laughs> that's the state of mind I'm in right now. That sounds like something I should be saying. I'm the one hopped up on pain medication. Well, like, you know, it's like eat the damage, but because it's bees, I'm just like, I could eat the bees. Why not? No! 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 <laughs> Almost there. You better not be trying to rip up my backpack again. You know what's gonna happen. Alright, we got all 500. What do you mean, Ace Pilot? What is that achievement? <laughs> You know what, Al? You and Christopher Robin need to devise some kind of smoking machine just to get the bees to fall asleep. Mood. You know, that, that's it. Like, if I were to raid someone tonight, I'm probably not going to, but I'm just like, the raid message would be hashtag eat the bees. <laughs> My rate messages are just bad advice. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it is. Ooh, Faraga burst. Okay, I can work with that. Put it on. That was definitely worth doing, then. <sighs> yeah, that that's it. It's just a string of different bits of bad advice. That that's all it is. Like. I, I can't wait to find out what tomorrow's raid message will be. Well, well, well. Well, 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 I was going to say, I jumped into the hole before that cutscene started. What happened? Thanks. Also, why is Sora skydiving? The hole was not that blustery. I... I, I don't know how to... <laughs> I, I don't know how to continue that statement without it sounding weirder than it already does. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds... Hey, Armados! I don't know, I hear Bubby or Booby, and I just think of Phil from Mighty Ducks. Yes, of course, Mr. Cummings. It's... He must have so much fun with his, uh, with his work. Like, on one hand, he voices Pete. On another, he does part of the voice for Scar, or did, because of the whole thing. What was it, like, the actor... Or the voice actor for Scar came down with, like, laryngitis or something. I don't know what it was, but he had to sing part of it himself. It's not about being swaddled, because you're free to roam right now. Oh, hi, Rue. Tigger's back in the woods, dude. You're in the wrong area. We just saw him. Oh, I thought you were doing, like, a, a, a lengthened ooh-woo. <laughs> no! Because all I heard was no. ooh-woo. No. I stood up and my brain was like, wee! Ooh, we got a, ooh, we got our mega ether. Alright, time to review the decks and swap that out. Alright, where's that ether? Alright. Hey, we've still got 15 card points to work with. Nice. Yeah. Oh, hi, Eeyore. Lost my tail again. 
Pooh's about to waddle off and find it. Why does he say, oh, yum, when he finds... Oh, wait. He was looking for honey. I thought he was about to eat Eeyore's tail. Why did I think that? I don't know. <laughs> Look, when you crave tails... I think very carefully about what you said. Yeah. Oh, I know. Look, I'm already going to hell. I might as well take some people with me. Exterminate 50 of the bees that swarm poo. Attack the bees with the keyblade cards. What? Blow them away with wind cards and recover <laughs> Pooh's honey gauge with honey cards. <laughs> what? How do you attack bees with cards? I don't know. Also, I just blew Pooh into the air. Come on now. Away with you, foul bees. You've already infested the filing cabinet yeah. in our uh, in our break room. Wait, what? So, the other day at work, Nick takes the red tape we have and just writes on the, uh, or, like, tapes up one of the drawers on the filing cabinet. And he's sitting there, or it's sitting there like, do not open, bees. So Andrew asks me about that at work. It's like, do you know what this was? I'm like, no, not not really. If I'm perfectly honest with you. I mean, I did, but I'm not about to tell him that. All right, let's see the bees interrupt this. Ha ha! What do you got to say about that, huh? Oh no, Pooh's honey meter. Uh, let me try that again. Okay. Go. Oh no, a honey storm. Oh wow, that really wipes out a lot of the hives. Okay. I can work with it. This is just so silly. Hang on, Pooh, I'm coming. Why is Eeyore just sitting there? I almost smacked him. There you go, Pooh. Heal fast. I'm trying, Pooh. Hold on. Just a little bit longer. I did it! I don't know how I was able to destroy an entire swarm of bees with one swipe of the keyblade. Bees? Bees. Hey, we found Eeyore's tail. Hey. And we got a trophy out of it. Oh, Mom and Dad used my Instant Pot and made sticky rice, so... Sweet. <laughs> well, they did actually use sweet rice. Interesting. And it, it worked out nicely, and they said the chili was good. Yeah. Dad texted me today. What about? 
<clears throat> just Junior, you gotta stop snort. Mario. <laughs> I snorted. What? Can you clear your throat like that? I was doing my best impression of Dad. That's all I gotta say. He says, Hope you had a nice Valentine's Day, kiddo. Tell Lawrence the cat hello for me. Oh, dear. Did you? No. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, I, I shouldn't laugh, but, like, that, that was so quick. <laughs> Wait, this... How do I leave? How do I leave this world? Oh, well, I just have to uh, sit on the that's log. Best discussion to have with your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was dark. <laughs> what do you want? What do you, what do you want from me? That, that was not what I meant. <laughs> At all. I know. But just... The way you said it just sounded so desperate. And I was just like, mm. I just want to get out of the hundred acre woods. You were like, how do I leave this world? <laughs> you I know what like, I meant. No, I know. <laughs> I know. But. <laughs> uh, this, is a reg this is a regular fare for us. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, we got Bambi. And I'll need to swap in that elixir at some point. Oh, you are... oh I needed that laugh, though. <laughs> what are you doing here? Not happy to see me? Let me know if I'm getting One of many. You know, of something that's more important. Huh? I didn't mean that. Spare the excuses, I bet, that you had all but forgotten about me. Are you crazy? Come on, I came all this way looking for you. But you're not anymore, right? Now it's only Namine that you're looking for. You don't care about me, just like you never cared. At all. About her feelings. Why was that broken Nominate. up like that? Like, there was a hyphen about after at all, never or you never cared, and I thought it was going to be an interruption. Just because you want to see I don't Nominate. Know. Sorry. Doesn't go both ways. Tell you the truth, Nominate doesn't even want to look at your face. Why not? You should ask your memories. Why Nominate disappeared from the islands. Remember that, and you'd know. Did I... Did I do something? Is it my fault? You never went to dinner, Sora. Riku. That's Go fucking home, why. Sora. I'll care for Namine. Anyone who goes near her goes through me. What's what's wrong with you? We're supposed to be friends. Please, Sora. Since when have you ever cared about me? Naminé's not the only one who's sick of looking at you. <laughs> so am I! <laughs> Riku, stop it! Alright, Rakuplica fight one. Uh, I know it's actually uh, Repliku, but I like saying Rakuplica. Nah, I, I do that too. <laughs> My friends look at me funny every time I say it. Nice. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, what you gotta say about that, huh, Riku? Yeah. <laughs> we are Riku after all. Plot twist, he's not. It's over. Fire. Isn't that what people say when it's like or what was it John Oliver said about that? It was just like, you know, I'll be single in two weeks, but I really don't want to admit it yet. Oh no, you broke my wild crush! Let me act, damn you! Uh 
Uh-oh. I can't, I can't do anything until I can reload my cards. I'm screwed. Nah, there's one now. Me. Nah, it's fine. Like, I was doing all right. It was just, eh. Oh no, I'm back. No. <laughs> Skipping. You never leave the hundred acre woods. If you say that, all I have to do is walk 101 acres. That's true. That is a long walk, though. Like, our property is about an acre, I think. You stop that with those zeros, mister. Damn it, Riku! Oh, there we go. Riku, you ready? Damn it, you ruined my wild crush again. There was too much load time. No, but I'm half expecting that next. I still haven't done an actual focus reload yet. Got him! Yeah. All it took was a zero. Time to saw you need. Oh yeah. And I leveled up. See, this is also why I wanted to get Hundred Acre Woods out of the way. I mean, that's fair. Because I knew we had this coming up. I just didn't know exactly when. And I think that's honestly a decent place to call this stream. Oh, yeah. What could have happened to make Riku talk like that? I don't know. We better go out to Riku! Look, like I said, my Donald Duck is sorely lacking. <laughs> honestly? Riku! I don't know how you? Andrew does it. Some people just have the right setup. Like, you know, I can do Meatwad, no problem. It's true. Sora? Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Riku. What happened? What happened? Hmm. <laughs> sure was strange. Almost like Ansem was back, controlling Riku again. But we got rid of Ansem for good. Then I wonder what is wrong with Riku. Hold on! The king! If he's with Riku, he might be in danger. Sora? I know. 
you're thinking Riku isn't your friend. But that's just not true. You sure? Well, I know he said some awful things to you back there. But you gotta remember, we are in Castle Oblivion. Why, folks lose their memory here a little bit at a time. Riku's probably just forgotten that the two of you were such close friends. That's all. So he just forgot? My guess is that's so. But Sora, instead of being sad, we have to figure out a way to help Riku get his memory back. If we all work together, why, we're sure to get you through this. No need to mow. Jiminy's right. You shouldn't push your friends away. Yeah. Okay. You know, for some reason, I read Mope as, like, maple or something, so now I'm just wondering, like, maple syrup. Is that just, like, maple syrup, but sad? Always smile. That was the promise we made to each other the first time we met. Can we just have we sad syrup now and call it Mopal? To keep smiling. Amazing. <laughs> just like, you know, on right. the bottle, it's a sad face. It's like it takes away all your sadness so that you don't have to worry about it. You know what I do to take away my sadness? You snuggle and swaddle a cat. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, the swaddling is more trying to teach him a lesson, but... Fair enough. Uh, do I have anything else I can add to the deck? I don't have a lot of uh, extra cards. and like, Okay, before, if I want to do gravity, I need more card points. So we'll get... Th oh, wait. Wait, I can do it. Okay, let's throw this in at the end there. So now we can do a Fioraga Burst. And yeah, I'm getting this all set up nice and easy. Alright. So I think with that, we are good to call the stream. First off, thank you for putting up with all the shenanigans tonight. <laughs> I hope it helped a little bit. Honestly, did. See, there we go. We both, it worked out for both of us. And thank you guys for watching. It was fun. Thank all y'all for putting up with my cat shenanigans. Eh, it's worth it. He adds, he adds character. <laughs> so, I'll try and be back tomorrow. Uh, that's obviously going to depend on, I guess, my mood and how I'm feeling. But I will do what I can to come back tomorrow for more of this. So, hopefully, I will see you guys there. All right? Later. Bye!